be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. I be beaming. Hey, what's the deal, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. We done messed around and made it through the week. If this is your first time at the channel, I want to welcome you here. Pull up a seat. I hope you enjoy the content. And before we get into this food, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that bell while you're at it so that you're notified when I drop new videos, go live, or schedule a premiere. All right, y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this food. So I made some loaded, cheesy, stuffed bell peppers. And also I got some sauteed shrimp on the side. Let me give you a good look at what we got going on here. All right. These are the bell peppers. There's no meat, so that's vegetarian friendly. And these are the shrimp. All right. And I also made a sauce. If you watched the last video when I had lobster tails, I made a sauce, so I made more of it this time. And I also wanted to redo it to give you step-by-step -step on how to make it. I'm actually going to drop a cook with me video. In a perfect world, that video would drop today, maybe an hour or two after this video. So look out for that. Please make sure you subscribe to Rhonda's Red Vlogs to get the, the cooking side of things. All right. And let me not forget one of the most important things. I have accepted a challenge. So in this video, you will see me do Flavors by Dame Dash's Don't Wipe Your Mouth Challenge. Now, I was called out by Corey Ball. So he called me out and here I am doing it. The most important thing about this challenge, have a sauce. And also make sure you have paper towel close by. All right. So I don't know how I'm going to do. Let's just hope for the best though, y'all. Okay. What do I want to start with? Let's go with a shrimp. Go to shrimp. I made a bigger batch of sauce this time. And the flavor is still really good. One thing that I love about this sauce is that it has the liquid amino in it. And if you're not familiar with liquid amino, I'll show you exactly what it is in the Cook With Me video. So please go ahead and check out the video at Rhonda's Red Vlogs. Is that why my mouth? No, I didn't. Tripping. I'm so caught up, y'all. I'm dipping this uh, bell pepper and some sauce as well. Give you guys a better look at that. I want to tell you what's in the bell pepper. I have some, dang, this sauce is dripping on my lip. I'm so tempted to wipe it already. Okay. What is inside of this bell pepper is, it's some uh, roasted, oven roasted mushrooms. Um, there's also some sauteed spinach. I also have some red potatoes that I sauteed in the skillet. I topped it with fresh tomatoes and I put it in the oven. I topped it with Gouda cheese to let the cheese melt. So again, if you're interested in that, that sounds good, like a good alternative. If you're, you know... I mean, you don't have to be a meat eater or not or whatever. It can be anybody. If that sounds good to you, like I said, check out the vlog at Rhonda's Red Vlogs. Let me put this up here so you have to see me dip, dipping in the sauce. Probably it's gonna get real messy real fast. This sauce is good. I love all the garlic in it, shallots.
feel like it took forever to cook this. I don't know why, but I've been starving. I'm so happy to be eating. I think I could wipe my hands. I just want to be sure that I want to be, I, I want to win this thing or whatever. So I'm just going to ride it out and not even wipe my hands either. Can y'all believe it's November 1st? I can't even believe the time is going by so fast. We got like, what, 60, 61 days left in the year? That's crazy. I can't even believe it's about to be 2020. My God. I can't believe I've been out of high school over 20 years. Like, Man. Mm. I don't wipe my mouth so bad. Anyway, so with it being 60, 61 days left in the year, what do you plan on accomplishing? What do you plan on doing? Where y'all going? Y'all got some trips planned? I know that with it being so close to the end of the year, the holidays are here and stuff. It's really easy to start coasting. And maybe your year has been so demanding that you just, you know, you owe it to yourself to just take it easy the last part of the year. But for those of us that still got some gas in the tank, you know what I'm saying? What y'all plan on accomplishing in these next 60 days? My website, Rhonda's Red Sauce, is underway. I'm working on a logo right now. And just getting my content together for my website. I'm about to do a writing series. I know a lot of you are brand new here. There is a story time that's on my page. The only playlist that I have currently is a story time. I told there's nine different segments uh, about my life. And a lot of my GPs, which is my good people. I'm getting a lot of y'all are new. So the term GP stands for good people. A lot of my GPs really enjoy story time, so on my website, I would do a writing series. I'm actually creating a fiction story, starting from scratch. Well, I think y'all are going to enjoy it, though. Um, that's definitely coming out, I want to say, this month. I don't know if I'm being too ambitious, but I really feel like I'll be able to get, you know, the story, the series rolling this year. Like, I mean this year, this month. You know, website launch, content created, rolling out everything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my goal in terms of what I plan to accomplish. What I, I want to say, also a question is, what do you plan on changing? Is there anything you plan on changing between now and the end of this year? What's something you think you can change between now and the new year? Something you could change about yourself? I know me, I started thinking about you know, it's easy to kind of point out everybody else's shortcomings. I was thinking about my behavior and what about me can be that is toxic or can be perceived as toxic behavior. Um, <laughs> I got to thinking about how I don't have this bad, but I do it. I hate conflict. I really try to avoid it. When it comes up, I think that I manage it well, but I try to avoid it, though. And... 
Mm. Oh man, I really want to wipe that. Mm. Damn. Damn. Anyways, I think about how I try to avoid conflict. I'm with that. I've noticed in myself in certain situations where I don't I don't take what's bothering me to the person that's done it, like in, like a friend, for example. I don't tell them what's bothering me. You know, I vent to someone that's close to me. You know, maybe I'm talking to my mom or whoever, telling them what's going on about whatever. And it's like that same energy I should have been giving to my friend, letting them know how I felt, how they disappointed me, how they let me down, how they made me feel. And here I am giving this energy to the wrong person that don't need it. And my friend should know how they made me feel so they could correct that, you know, going forward. Or know that, you know, responding in a certain kind of way is going to make me feel however, right? I got to work on that. It doesn't happen all the time. But it has happened. I noticed it this year. And I don't like it. So I need to change that. I'm like actively working on that. I may not be completely over it and done with it by the end of this year, but I'm it's one it, I'm working on it. I am. And so the other question is where y'all going? Where y'all going? Well, y'all got any trips lined up for the rest of this year? Y'all got anything going on for the holidays or you know, whatever. You got any girls trips, got any family trips, whatever. Me and my mom are about to take a trip to Hawaii. Just me and her. We've never taken a mother daughter trip before. This is our first time. So we're going in two weeks. I'm really excited about that. I'm super excited. We're going to be there for five days. We'll definitely be filming. We're doing a mukbang together. So, I may have mom go ahead and talk. We may get a chance to talk about the... Uh, we may finally get a chance for her to tell her side of the whole coming out story. In Hawaii. And we'll definitely be vlogging as well while we're there. So, I'm really excited about that. That's one trip for sure that's on the books. I might have another trip planned with one of my friends, one of my really good friends. That might or might not happen, not sure, but Hawaii is a short thing. So, y'all let me know. What y'all trying to accomplish? What are y'all trying to change? And where y'all going before this year is over? What y'all got planned? Well, I got sauce everywhere. I'm sure you can see it. I don't normally eat this messy, but it is a challenge. I did well. I think didn't reach for a paper towel not one time. Um, it's Friday, so y'all know what time it is. It's family night. If you're brand new here to the channel, uh, we have family night every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where I go live. Um, all the GPs, we be up in there chilling. We talk. People bring their red cups, their questions, need advice, whatever. You know what I mean? You come through. Everybody is welcome. It's a safe space. We start at 7 and we go until. So everybody is welcome. So please come through. Check us out. Um, like I said, go ahead and subscribe to the vlog channel, Rhonda's Red Vlogs. Follow me on Instagram, Rhonda's Red Sauce. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I will be back on Sunday. Until then, all I ask you to do is be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block, down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.